Hi everyone, I am Mark Andre M. Quejano. Today I will be discussing all about the aortoiliac disease. What is aortoiliac disease? Aortoiliac disease is a type of peripheral artery disease results from fatty deposits called plaque, building up in the arteries and causing them to become narrow and blocked. This build up not only slows down blood flow, it also makes the artery vulnerable to injury and clot formation. If collateral circulation has developed, patient with a stenosis or oculation of aortoiliac segment may be asymptomatic or complaints of discomfort. What are the signs and symptoms of aortoiliac disease? First one is fatigue, second one is pain, third one is cramp in the buttocks, fourth one is erectile dysfunction for men. Severe signs can be pain in the feet or toes when in rest, numbness in the legs, or leg or foot ulcers. What are the causes of aortoiliac disease? One of the most common causes of aortoiliac disease is atherosclerosis. Inflammation arthritis may co cause inflammation in the arteries causing the blockage of artery. Radiation in the pelvis can cause inflammation in the arterial wall leading to the blockage of artery. What are the diagnostic tests for aortoiliac disease? First one is Doppler ultrasound. It uses sound waves to produce color images that shows the flow of blood through the arteries of the pelvis and legs. It allows the doctor to detect and evaluate blockage caused by plaque buildup. Next one is angiogram. It uses x-ray to detect blockage in the arteries. During this test, your doctor uses a needle to make a small puncture near the groin and insert a catheter which is guided into the iliac artery. What are the risk factors of aortoiliac disease? First one is high cholesterol, second one is high blood pressure, third one is smoking, fourth one is diabetes, fifth one is obesity, sixth one is lack of exercise, and the last one, family history of cardiovascular diseases. What are the treatment for aortoiliac diseases? First one is regular exercise, second one is walking, third one is quitting and smoking, fourth one is managing high cholesterol, fifth one is managing high blood pressure, and the fifth one is managing diabetes. What are the medical management for aortoiliac disease? The treatment of aortoiliac disease is essentially the same as for atherosclerotic peripheral arterial occlusive disease and endovascular procedures such as bilateral common iliac stents may be attempted if the aorta has less than 50 diameters of reduction. If there is a significant aortic disease, the medical procedure of choice is the aortoiliac graft. Open surgery has been the gold standard of treatment of severe aortoiliac disease with excellent patency rate but with increased length of stay and major complications. What are the nursing management for aortoiliac disease? For pre-procedural or pre-operative, assessment includes evaluating the brachial, radial, ulnar, femoral, posterior tibial, and dorsalis pedis passes to establish the baseline. Patient education is important for the preparation of the surgery. For post-operative care, it includes monitoring for signs of thrombosis in arteries distal to the surgical site. Renal function may be impaired as a result of hypoperfusion from hypotension, ischemia to the renal arteries during the surgical procedure, hypovolemia or embolization of the renal artery or renal parasema. Monitoring urine output and maintaining at least 0.5 ml. Vital signs and pain and intake and output should always be monitored. Results of laboratory tests are monitored and reported to the primary provider. Abdominal assessment for bowel sounds and paralytic ileus is performed at least every 8 hours. In conclusion, aortoiliac disease can be prevented by having a healthy life. So if you don't want any complication in health such as aortoiliac disease, start exercising. And if you are smoking, start quitting now. Prevention is better than cure. Live a healthy life. And here are my references. That is all. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something today. Face in your face.